Hey, Shabbat Shalom or Shalom. Uh, we're furthering on my uh, book report there of Cured. And it's not in the book actually that I know of yet, but because of emails that they have sent, uh, this here has the ingredients that you would need. And you take a bit of it, okay? This has got uh, 400 milligram per caps. Uh, there's 100 uh, vegetarian capsules here, but the instructions are is that you're supposed to take uh, three capsules three times a day preferably with food okay so we're talking this is like a month supply and they give you a three-day warning uh, basically that you need to get more of it uh, but I'll tell you you know when you start taking this you will most likely start to detox uh, detox means that there's a lot of toxins and things of the sort that's already in you and that's where the flu comes from uh, your colds things of this sort it's like the straw that breaks the camel's back and your body will go into a fever and expel all these toxins through your skin and that's what influenza and colds and you know things of this sort are from sometimes even high allergic reactions uh, in fact I heard that uh, the allergies are so high here this year that uh, those that have been making meth for so long are turning it back into Sudafed uh, I don't know I heard that joke from somewhere and I thought it was hilarious so I figure I share it with you but anyway this is no joke this will also make you detox uh, especially at these levels. Now, another herb that you could take to help prevent you from getting influenza uh, or colds or anything, any of these diseases, is olive leaf. Uh, you take an olive leaf tincture, and the way that you know that it's working is when you start coming up with flu-like conditions and you actually go into a fever, and when you come out, you just keep taking the same dosage okay keep taking it keep taking it it will expel these toxins out of you at a great rate and after that you'll start feeling terrific but then you can slow down the dosage after the fever breaks and I believe that might be the same route for this if you've not really detoxed before this may cause you to do so but if you if you take this and know why you're feeling really bad and uh, of course there is a caution on here that I want you to know it says not recommended for individuals with autoimmune conditions persons with allergies to plants of the uh, esteracea uh, compositae family including ragweed should use this product with caution. If pregnant, nursing, or taking any medications, consult a healthcare professional uh, before use. Now, of course, you can get a much better and clearer uh, picture of this if you went to like eBay or whatever and put this into the browser to search it out with the veggie caps. It'll bring up this brand, it'll bring up everything and it will show you the ingredients on there uh, with some of these now sometimes I found when I'm looking for it I have to go to a way more expensive uh, price for the same product to see where they took the time to show the ingredients because a lot of times they don't do that because they know that the ones who do not eat pork aren't going to buy the capsules the ones with the veggie caps are cheaper and they figure that you know that or believe that they might be only selling you vegetarian things these here are but there are other brands that are deceptive uh, be careful with these things and know that if you don't want to take no flu shot and you should never put those things into your body I'll tell you the holy temple uh, that's like except I mean there's no difference in taking a mark in your right hand or your forehead 
you're taking it into the holy temple whenever you put something unclean something that's unholy or defiled into your holy temple it's the same thing this here is going to expel those things you've done in ignorance over the years and those things that are coming down in chemtrails or uh, you know, you go out and you got your foot in the pool not knowing someone took a leak in there that's been eating pork and everything. You know, there's just these things going on. You can't avoid it. This here helps clean it out of you. So you don't even have to think about taking a flu shot. This will keep you if you take it according to the directions. And if you do go into a detox, uh, Hergesheimer's reflux, I believe it used to be called, uh, now they call it a detox, where you might have fever conditions, it feels like, and while well, it will be uh, fever conditions, flu symptoms, I meant to say. If you have flu symptoms and then you have the fever, after starting to take this, you know that you were really messed up to begin with. You had so much crap in you, you know, that you, it's a wonder you haven't died yet. So, take this if you can. I told you about the cautions. You can look at it. Uh, there's other things like I told you. You know, the olive leaf extract. And you can take that. Most everybody's safe from olive leaf. There are talked about 12 leaves, 12 trees that have the leaves of healing in them to heal the nations. You know, after our king returns, these things will be... Uh, shown but there are 12 trees with healing in their leaves and some of the countries have made these leaves uh, so unlawful that if you pick them or try to use them they would put you to death Cray Tom yes they know these tree leaves will heal you uh, anything in excess of course you know you shouldn't do but uh, they will heal you. So let's look into these things. Let's uh, get healthy. Our king is going to return and he it talks about, you know, the days will be shortened because why? Well, read it for yourself. There's not going to be many of us. Not even of the very elect are going to be left. It is return. So if you want to be one that is to see all these things taking place, the lightning from the east to the west, you know, and everything, take care of your holy temple. You're commanded to do so anyway. It's our king's desires or whatever, his duties to take us when he takes us or let us stay when we stay. If you can, try it.